So Steve, thanks for showing us your iPad today. I understand you're ideally you'd like to be in a position where you could not have to bring your laptop with you on, on your business trips. So um, can you show us what uh, what kinds of things you've been able to, sure. to get installed on there and get them working in the HPC world? Sure. sure. So this is an iPad 3G, 64 gig, largest memory available. So. Um, because there are several applications that require um, specific software that there's not an iPad version at present, um, I configured a PC at my house to do Wake on LAN, and um, it happens that the um, Apple software um, that I used is um, called iNet, and it's an iPod and, and um, iPhone application, so it's a little blurry on the screen, uh -huh. but I can send a wake signal to my router. I establish a dyndns.org account since I have DSL, yeah. and I can send a signal to the router, forward it to my PC, and wake it up. It happens to already be awoken, so we won't wake it. Uh -huh. um, I chose Jump Desktop, which is a RDP client, uh -huh. and I chose it because it had the best encryption of the various RDP clients. Okay. There's my PC. Did you look at VNC by um, chance? Or? Yes, yeah. and I, I chose um, RDP um, on purpose because Windows has a RDP service, ah, yeah. and I didn't want to have the trouble of if the VNC server died, having to restart it from a remote location. Yeah. I'd need RDP anyway. Right. So. So there. It says connecting to. Yes. And, and this is a vintage 2002 compact Presario 6020 US um, with the AMD Athlon 1900 processor. Okay. Um, this is putty connected to a 20,000 core SGI Altex ICE. <laughs> um, yeah. Wow. Intel Nihalem processors. Uh -huh. um, currently, there's. 4,080 cores available. It's not that there's a lack of work on the machine. Those are being held to run some job that asks for more than 4,080 cores. Okay. Um, and so from here, you can uh, do anything you could do from a, a command line back at home talking to that system. So yep. On your iPad. And there's oh, the there's Windows desktop. It'll convey sound. I can do flash. Mm -hmm. And um, oh. Now, have you tried movies? Or, I know that um, isn't their purpose. Because but. we're at a conference, yeah. the Wi-Fi is oversubscribed, but yes, mm -hmm. I've yeah. been able to stream video over the PC using RDP. Okay, um, You need a good internet connection. Yeah. You know, on the 21st floor of this hotel, using the AT&T 3G, mm -hmm. yes, I can view something, but it'll have occasional dropout. Okay. Um, so, since you're connected to your, your PC at home, you can do the VPN and those kinds of things uh, yes, from here, um, huh? You'll see there's a Kerberos client. Yeah, um, yeah. I can actually do my corporate VPN using one of the third-party browsers called Atomic Web. Uh -huh. That's a, um, a iPad browser, um, you know, app. Yeah. And, um, and it has a particular feature of allowing itself to be identified as Internet Explorer of various versions or Firefox, mm -hmm. and so I can trick my VPN to think that this is not an iPad. I see. And I see. Excellent. Excellent. Wow.